How can you improve your athleticism to become a better skateboarder? Is there anything you can do in the gym to help improve your pop? What's good, Skate Athletics fam? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to improve your athleticism to help your skateboarding. First, we need to define some key terms and some underlying concepts. What is a motor unit? A motor unit consists of a motor neuron and the muscle fibers it innervates, AKA that connection between your brain and your muscles. What is motor unit recruitment? Motor unit recruitment is the process by which different motor units are recruited to produce specific types and different levels of muscle contractions. What is rate coding? The rate of action potential discharge to a muscle, basically how long it takes for that signal to travel from your brain to your muscles. So it's commonly known that progressively overloading your muscles with stimulus increases the size of those motor units within your muscles. So the more you train, you'll be able to activate more muscle fibers using those large motor units, and that's what gives you those stronger contractions. But how do we translate that built strength into explosive power and athleticism? One way is to improve the speed at which we recruit those motor units within your muscles, also known as improving your rate coding. Faster and more efficient rate coding increases higher quality motor unit recruitment, which increases activity of higher threshold motor units during exercise. And this is one of those factors that actually contributes to a more explosive contraction. At least that's what some exercise scientists think. So how can this practically be accomplished? Well, this is where contrast training comes in. Contrast training pairs a high force exercise with an explosive max velocity exercise. From a muscular perspective, first we're trying to recruit as many motor units as possible. Then with that second exercise, we're trying to re-recruit those motor units as fast as possible. And how do we know this works? In a meta-analysis, these dudes examined 27 different studies that compared the effectiveness of contrast training to a more traditional load progression training, where you start with those high force compound lifts at the beginning of the workout and progress to those more velocity based ones towards the end. And what they found is that contrast training had a greater effect on performance variables, such as one rep max, vertical jump, change of direction, and sprint speed. All right, so now let's get into how you're actually gonna do this. In this video, I'm gonna provide one set for a novice lifter, one for somebody who's sort of intermediate, and then one for somebody who's more advanced. Obviously, please create your own though. You kind of get the idea. All you gotta do is pair that high force exercise with a max velocity exercise directly after. With that high force exercise, try to work through that range of motion with explosive intent. Give yourself like a 10 to 30 second rest, just make sure you feel good. Then perform that max velocity exercise literally as hard as possible. Usually that's gonna be some sort of plyometric. So for beginners, let's start with a goblet squat followed by a box jump. Let's perform three to four sets using about three to five reps of the goblet squat followed by three box jumps. And as we just said, give yourselves about 10 to 30 seconds in between each exercise and about two minutes in between each set. One of the main things about contrast training is being able to go 100%. So allow yourself that time to rest. If you need more time in between sets, that's all good. For intermediate lifters, we're gonna use a barbell back squat with depth jumps for max height. Perform about four to five sets with three back squats followed by two depth jumps. Same rest periods apply. You might need a little longer between each set. For advanced athletes, let's try the Anderson safety bar split squat and a drop jump into hurdle tuck jumps. Perform about four to five sets with about three split squats on each side and one round of the drop jumps into the hurdle tuck jumps. For this set, let's take at least 30 seconds in between each exercise and up to three minutes between each set. Always remember when performing any of these contrast training sets, proper posture is way more important than the load that you're using. I'd much rather walk in and just see you using the bar compared to like 95 pounds and barely moving the weight. Obviously challenge yourself, but just remember form over everything. And last thing, the actual practical science on this stuff is kind of crazy, it's all over the place. And in my opinion, there are just so many variables that come into play when you're trying to do experiments on human subjects. Just keep in mind that this is only one factor that plays into building athleticism. But with all that said, I really do think it's gonna help you a lot. So give it a try. All right, fam, catch you guys next time on Skate Athletics. Okay, first tee, like the...